Me is the only choice. I am sorry, but Signor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. Signor Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Naturalmente. Signor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. La competizione is the reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Well, who's with me? Come on, you know you want to. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? So sorry, but I'm really rather hungry myself, and well, we can't leave until the contest's over anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't believe this. Hey, listen, we're kind of in a hurry here, and we really need to get to the dock. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente! The person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. You heard the man. Let's go ask this Doge guy to let us into the docks. be the place. Let's see if he's home. Oh, no minuto. I am coming. Uh, hey. We're looking for the doge? We need to ask him a favor. Bene. I am doge rotondo. Always I am happy to help. <gasps> I have nothing to say to you. Niente. Now you must go. Andate via. <gasps> what the? Hey, wait. So much for Malto Gentile. I've met kinder judges. 
took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait, you don't think... Nah, how would he know you were on the run? And why just you? Huh. Oh, there you are. Veronica's managed to get herself into a bit of a scrape. Please, you have to come and help. Ah. Man, you can't take that kid anywhere. Still, I guess we won't be sailing out of here anytime soon. Might as well go see what's up. Give it back, you dirty, rotten thief! It's not like you can use it anyway. A kid like you wouldn't have the first idea what to do with a wand. Why no? You are the kid, just like me. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. What's going on here, Serena? We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. We caught up with him here, but he won't give it back. Oh. <laughs> hey! <clears throat> here. Don't let it get swiped so easily next time. But why did you even want my wand in the first place? It's not worth much money, you know. I, uh... Hmm? What is it, kid? Spit it out? It's okay, Placido. I explain the situation. My name is Benigno. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Rotondo. Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. Happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. So I think, if I have the magic, Maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? Hmm. Fine. You're forgiven. Now, tell me more about your friend's lost voice. It's his throat. There's some sort of... awful... Oh, he's been cursed. Poor thing. I might be able to help him if I had some birdsong nectar. But I'd need some water from a sacred fountain to make it, and, well... Oh, you needed the special, very, very holy water to help Placido, see? I hear people talking about something like this. The river, west of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto speciale. I know I steal the wand, and I know this is very bad, but per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since we are the small children, bambini piccoli. And now you are his only hope. You will help him, see? See? Grazie mille, signore. You bring the water from the grotta and make the special nectar, and I will stay to take care of Placido.
here we go! Darling. song nectar. There we are. 
all done. Now, let's head back to Gondolia and see if we can cure dear little Placida. This is just too... Listen, boys, I want front row seats for this, so let's get organized. Meanwhile, me and the girls will go put a song back into little Placido's throat. Ooh, I can't wait to see his happy little face. Ciao for now. <sighs> so we get lumbered with the grunt work again, huh? Uh, whatever. Let's just head over to the contest and see what's what.
Santo Cielo, what an handsome pair. I think I have never seen such luscious hairs. Molto splendente. Surely you are entering la competizione, you see? It's a, such a waste if you not take part. Listen, Gramps, I know we're easy on the eye, but we don't have time to be. Hey, does that guy look familiar to you? I had thought to search the town for you while the citizenry were occupied with this idiotic spectacle. But no. Instead, you choose to saunter up and greet me in broad daylight. Brazen fools. Damn it, it is. It's him. People of Gondolia, listen. And listen well. I, Jasper. Knight of Heliodor and trusted retainer of His Majesty, King Carnelian. Come before you to tell you that the very Darkspawn himself is among us. The bedeviled child who brought about the destruction of Dundras Hill. This is not good. Let's get out of here. Come quietly, accursed one, and I may not be inclined to make you suffer. Oh man, we've done it now. Else wants some. <laughs> hmm. Damn it! They just keep coming! Your pathetic resistance will get you nowhere. Yield! And spare us the... Yield? I don't think so, honey. <clears throat> you leave my friends alone, or I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. Yeah! Honey. Who are these imbeciles? And how did they get past the guards? Uh, imbeciles, you say? We'll soon see who's the stupid one! <laughs> so you have friends, Darkspawn. Not for long. Fan out, men! Quickly! Huh? 
What are you doing? I bought you some time. Use it. Get out of here, now. Looks like we're safe for now. We were lucky to get out of there, you know? But we didn't all make it out. Poor Eric, he... Oh, I can't imagine what they'll do to him. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. Eric's tougher than he looks. I think. That Jasper was talking some nonsense, though, huh? I mean... Why call the one who's trying to beat the Dark One, the Dark Spawn? Honey, that's just confusing. He isn't really the Dark Spawn. That's just what the King of Heliodor thinks. It's all some terrible misunderstanding. I'm ever so sorry, Silvando. We should have explained all this to you earlier, but, well, so much has been going on. Oh, please, there's no need to apologize, darling. Darkspawn indeed. As if a lovely little thing like you would go around with someone like that. Oh, Silvando. Now, are we gonna stand around here all night or are we gonna take action, huh? Let's sneak up to that bridge in the middle of town and see if we can spot where they're keeping Eric. Be quiet as mice now and use the buildings for cover. The streets are crawling with soldiers. In fact, let's see if we can get up onto the rooftops through the inn. That might be the best route to the bridge.
scurrying around in the shadows like the rodent you are, Darkspawn. Show yourself! Or you can stay hidden and see what happens to your friend. Something tells me he's not the patient type. We'd better get to Eric before things turn nasty. Ah, there's a gondola stop off to the northwest near the contest stage. We could sneak up close to them from there. Let's hop on a gondola and glide on over. Mustn't keep dear Eric waiting. Stage right and save the day. <laughs> so finally you scurry into the light. You rats think to gain the advantage by ambushing me while I am unguarded. I welcome the chance to tear you apart with my own hands, Darkspawn. You now, Darkspawn. <laughs> Filthy rats.
<sighs> Brought to my knees, Pike. You vermin. Ugh, how could this happen? <coughs> <gasps> oh, Eric. Are you all right? Here, let me untie you. What devilry is this, Darkspawn? By what trickery did you manage to overcome Sir Jasper? <laughs> it matters not. You have had your fun. Now accept your fate and give yourselves up. Hmm. All right, this is gonna seem crazy, but just trust me, okay? Geronimo! <laughs> True to form, the rats leap from the sinking ship. So much for your faithful friends, Darkspawn. Now, this ridiculous farce has gone on long enough. All that remains is for you to choose how it ends. Surrender to me, or entrust your fate to the sharks that circle beneath. Well, which will it be? Oh! Sir Jasper, look! Hmm? <sighs> How's that for a dramatic entrance, huh? Introducing the Salty Stallion, the finest ship to ever sashay across the seas. <laughs> Dame, be a darling and pull over to the quayside so my friends can hop on, will you? Right you are, Silva. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Ciao for now, Jasper, darling. Bet you didn't see that ending coming. Ooh, I do love a twist. What are your orders, sir? They're getting away. They will not get far. Ooh, made it. And by the skin of our teeth. We owe you one, Sylv. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, darling. Dame is the one you need to thank. It's his steady hand on the helm that steered us out of the jaws of danger. <laughs> oh, stop it, Sylv. I'm just doing my job. No need to... Blimey, what the heck's that? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! It's disgusting! <laughs> I told you you would not get far. Enjoy your journey to the ocean floor. Now, my dear Tentacular, welcome your new friends to the loving embrace of the deep. Ah! Ah! 
lucky. Here it comes. Oh, I'm too young and beautiful to die. What's that noise? Those are Gondolian merchant ships. What are they? Fire! Frightened it away. Oh. Hi, hey, hi. <laughs> hi. He's safe now. See, bene, bene. That monster always he is harassing the ships in this area. Molto irritante. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Placido. Listen, I can speak now. I have back my voice again. The boy, he tell me everything. He tell me it's you who cure him. And also, he convinced me that you are no darkspawn. That is no you who curse him in this way. He explain everything to me. Scusa, amici. I have done to you a great disservice. Some days ago, I play outside the town, and I observe Sir Jasper talking to the monster. It's scary, so I make a little scream. He hear me, and curse my voice so I cannot speak about what I see. It was horrible. So I learn that the one they call the Darkspawn save my boy. And the noble knights of Eliodor, they consort with the monsters. What does it all mean? I cannot understand. But I know that you are an hero. And an hero must escape to fight another day, see? Darkspawn! <gasps> Hear me. Today, you were lucky. But your luck will run out. And when it does, I will be there. If you are wise, you will live in fear of that day. Things won't be easy for you now. You defied the Heliodorians, and they don't like that. Don't let them grind you down, you hear? We live to see another sunrise. We're blessed. Blessed, I tell you. Oh, Dave, I forgot to ask. Have you heard any little birdies chirping about a merchant buying something called the Rainbow over in Galopolis? Oh, heavens, it happened silver. Word on the grapevine is the fellow what bought it at it over Zvardrust way. This really isn't just a game to you, huh? <laughs> Friends, shipmates, amigos, Zvard's thrust and the rainbow await. Onward, forward, northeastward, the Stani beckons! <laughs>
Another one bites. Home of muscular brutes beating the bejesus out of each other. I've always wanted to visit. Oh, great. They're fans of Hendrik, huh? I hate this place already. <laughs> hey there, handsome. Y'all here to take part in the tournament? You sure oughta. The masked martial arts meet is where all the biggest fighters make their names. <laughs> What's it say? Show the world what you've got in the greatest fighting contest anywhere in Erdria. Awesome prizes available. A tournament, eh? I thought she was going to invite you to a boring old dance or something. I wonder what the masks are for. What's that at the bottom? All bouts to be held in the rooftop arena. I suppose that must be on top of the big building over there.
ever.
Al Swanson. Oh, goody.
merchant who bought it from the Sultan of Galopolis must have sold it to the tournament organizers. Does this mean we're going to have to enter the tournament? <laughs> nope. It means we're going to have to win it. The Masked Martial Arts Tournament starts here! Now before our fighters get down and dirty, it's time to find out who'll be paired with who. Let's hope everyone gets the partner they deserve. I'm going to draw balls from this box right here and call out the numbers. Each pair of numbers forms a team. Fighters will be counting on you to make the most of whoever you're matched with. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. All righty, let's get started. And the first number is 11. Fighter number 11, step right up. Now time to find out who'll be fighting beside you. Let's see. Who will it be? Eight. It's fighter number eight. Number eight. Make your way up to the stage. Charmed, I'm sure. Hold on a wee second there. Huh? I'm not putting this young lassie's fate in the hands of a ballyhoo like you and your box of balls. Uh, but, sir, uh, sir, it's it's the rules. I'll tell you what you ain't gonna say. Uh, uh, I, uh, I mean, uh, Allow me to check that with the uh, official adjudicator. Hi. <sighs> My mistake, fighters. Seems this gentleman here has a, uh, a special arrangement. Number 11 gets another pick of the partner pot. Oi, what's the big idea? Play fair, will ya? Come on now, folks. Be reasonable. The, uh, the official adjudicator has spoken. Now, why don't we see who number 11 will be fighting beside? Oh, hey. Hey. It's number seven! Fighter number seven, come on down! Looks like I'm up. Da, Vince got picked already. Well, how about that? Number 11's new partner is last year's champion, Octagonia's favorite son, Vince Vanquish! Hey man, good to meet you. Let's break some heads. That's it, folks! Our teams have been decided! 
Now all that remains is to wait for the action to begin. Let's wish the best of luck to all our fighters! to Veronica, they should change the rules so you can compete on your own. Wasn't I, Veronica? Veronica? Where's she gone? She was here a moment ago. What's all that commotion outside? Oh. Oh, dear. Look where I'm going. You're the one strolling around with your nose in the air, you snooty little midget. What? That's ridiculous. You walked right into me, you big lump. Didn't your mother ever teach you to say sorry? Cool. You really don't know where to shut up, do you? This is all I need after me bleeding, stinking luck in that bleeding, stinking drool. Don't take it out on the kid under Digger. We all have our bad days. Who said that? Come here and I'll... <gasps> Ch Champ! <gasps> I get it. You didn't get the draw you wanted. But you gotta roll with the punches, man. I mean, you're a tough guy. What does it matter who you partnered with, right? Well, since you put it like that, champ. Uh, sorry, Squirt. <laughs> I'll, uh... Kev? Uh, Kev, is that you, mate? Kev? Veronica, are you all right? Hey there, partner. You know this little lady? I guess all's well that ends well, huh? Glad I could help out. All right, gotta bounce. I got kids to feed, then I'm hitting the sack. We ain't gonna win tomorrow if we don't rest up. You take it easy too, you hear? I'll come get you bright and early.
Rise and shine, partner. Time to hit the arena. The arena. Huh. We meet again, Underdigger. Gotta stop bumping into each other like this. Oh, give me a break, will ya? Up against a champ in the first round. I must have the worst bleeding, stinking luck in the whole bleeding, stinking world. Right, you. Here's the plan. We wall up the kid first. Then we move on to Vince, right? That way, we might actually stand a chance of getting out of here alive. Sure thing. We're gonna win this easy. And then all the girls are gonna be swooning over me. And <laughs> you'll see... <laughs> All right, teams, I want a nice clean bout. On my word. Here it comes, folks. Nice job, partner. You're tougher than you look. Huh. Sounds like the next fight started already. Would you look at the kid go? She's incredible! this 
girl. I can barely keep up. <sighs> and what's with the old guy? He's just standing there. do make it ever so easy. You're done, kid. Fight's over! Rab and Jade are the winners! Heavens be praised! How are we supposed to compete with that? Admit it, Vince. Even you're impressed. Yeah, she ain't bad. All right, folks. Here are the teams who'll be fighting it out for your pleasure in the final bouts. Will Vince and his new sidekick prove invincible and take the title again? Or will Rab and Jade continue their incredible run and pip the champ at the post? It's all still to play for. Come back tomorrow when the action continues. You won't want to miss it! I lucked out getting you as my partner. We're in with the chance, you and me. Anyway, I better go. The kids will be waiting for me back at the orphanage. <laughs>